It's a pretty typical meal for a college student. Ground hamburger and mac and cheese. A meal that until recently, Nathan couldn't eat. Nathan suffered from achalasia, a rare disorder where the esophageal sphincter muscles can't relax, making it difficult for him to swallow food and pass it to the stomach. The result severely affected his quality of life. I'd eat enough where I, you know, felt like I got enough food in for the day, but there were some days where I would eat and then I would end up puking it back up and I'd, I just didn't want to eat the rest of the day and I just kind of went, went with it. And then it started affecting my sleep. It actually got a lot worse where I didn't get any sleep at night. I'd probably get maybe an hour within the whole span of the night. It felt like heartburn, but I found out it was just acid coming up and sitting in my throat and I couldn't do anything to fix it. Any medicine wouldn't fix it. The pain caused Nathan to cut back on his motorcycle riding because he had to constantly stop to drink water to ease his burning throat. I remember I was going home once and it got so bad I almost passed out, so I had to pull over and basically chug the bottle of water to calm it down and it worked, but it was a really rough ride. These patients are constantly thinking about what are they having for their next meal? Could they have it in public? Where's the nearest bathroom in case they have to spit up? Um, so they're miserable. Hey, how are you doing? Nathan found help at UW Health in Madison. Dr. Amber Shada and Dr. Luke Funk offered a procedure called a peroral endoscopic myotomy, or POEM. It's an endoscopic procedure, so it's placing a camera in through the mouth and down into the esophagus, and then performing a myotomy, which means essentially cutting the muscle. We're not curing your achalasia. You still have achalasia, but we are taking that muscle and cutting it open, so it's not staying contracted anymore. Now things can flow through. Because the procedure is done endoscopically through the throat, there are no outside incisions. Patients, they're used to traditional surgery. They just want to know how much they're going to hurt, how big is the cut, and they're shocked to hear nothing on the outside. Everything through the inside is essentially painless. Patients have virtually no discomfort after the procedure, maybe a sore throat, but they're very rarely uncomfortable. After the procedure, Nathan immediately felt better. One of the first things he noticed was his quality of sleep. I noticed that right away. I was able to get like a full night's sleep. Uh, it, felt, it felt amazing. <laughs> You know, going from every night getting an hour from the whole night, being able to sleep the whole night, it felt really good. Within a few weeks, Nathan was cleared to eat any food. The days of vomiting several times a day and heartburn are gone. And he's back doing one of his favorite pastimes. I got it done and probably like a month after that I took a nine hour trip. I rode up into Minnesota and came back and it was, it was a great ride.